why are we uh, at MWC 2018 this year again? So we represent a huge ecosystem uh, from chip to cloud, uh, including all the mobile industry. And uh, this place here in MWC in Barcelona is a natural location. This is one of the biggest events for our industry. So it's quite uh, natural for us to be there, uh, alive and kicking and showing our progress, uh, talking to all the media, the analysts who are coming here to update them on our progress and uh, future plan. So um, we have organized our presence at MWC around three key areas, three key verticals that we've seen our member companies develop solutions for. Um, the first one is energy and utilities. It started with smart meters, but now we're going more and more towards how we are utilizing those scarce resources that we have, water, electricity and gas. And by knowing in real time what is the consumption and relating that to additional data, we are starting to make an impact on, on how we, we utilize those resources. We have lots of partners in this ecosystem that have solutions that are, that are smart meters, smart take monitoring, that's all about getting data from the assets out to the edge to be able to consume that data and make real intelligent business decisions and even control those assets out at the edge. So the second zone of the, the, uh, this, the booth is around agriculture and precision farming is becoming real by the day and uh, LoRaWAN works very well because of its long distance, long range capabilities and having that intelligence in real time is transforming the way that uh, we deliver agriculture. There's uh, all kinds of environmental sensing, soil sensors, um, environmental within the context of greenhouses or stock within barns. Um, The advantage of LoRaWAN within the agriculture ecosystem is of course you can bring the network where you need it. With cellular technologies, generally they focus on the, the cities first, where the population is. And with agriculture, maybe you need to bring your own network. So LoRaWAN being in the private bands offer you that capability to do so. The third zone is showing how LoRaWAN is being used in smart industrial, smart city and smart building area very well suited for being able to rapidly set up uh, data collection across an entire um, area, for instance a, a neighborhood or a, a large manufacturing plant with just one single antenna and then starting to sensor up with ready-made, industrially available um, cost-effective sensors. So things like um, this, which is one of our many members who are producing devices in volumes available today, either from the retailers or from wholesalers, is making it so much easier for solutions provider to identify a sensor that will give them the information they need for their clients and build an entire solution around it with the network, with the data management uh, solutions already available and um, integrated together. A lot of one development, obviously, we have come a long way, I would say. In the early days, we were talking about uh, standards and protocols, and now, actually, this year, we are finally able to show a vast array of uh, commercial devices, in fact, that uh, people can, can deploy in commercial applications. And so, this year, actually, we have here, uh, we have brought uh, a number of our partners uh, with uh, centers that go from noise pollution monitoring to uh, structural devices to low-cost GPS tags to security devices, mm, all ready to go. Uh, if you can bring machine vision, machine learning, uh, those sorts of 
applications, it's not just about low-cost battery powered sensors. It's also about um, you know high-value, uh, high productivity solutions that you can get the data back using more one. But it's the startup time. It's about getting into a building quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Getting things going. Different deployment models. Yeah. Means you're not necessarily tied to the as you say. Someone can set up their own network. Very easy. Very easy. Set up a more of one network at the very top northwest of Scotland, one of the remote places that you can find, and it just works. And it works, and that's the message. Yeah, yeah. more of works. There you go. In the coming months, we are working on a lot of uh, new features that are being specified, that are one by one being uh, deployed, being available, live available, such as uh, roaming between operators, uh, such as enhanced security feature, and super low power geolocation. And the unique thing about the way we do geolocation is it doesn't add any additional cost or any increase in uh, battery power consumption to existing sensors. So we do it completely GPS free and we use the existing infrastructure to locate a device in different environments, in rural environments, in urban environments. We have something what we call IoT in a box, which actually uses LoRaWAN technology and LoRa devices. Um, so what's really cool about LoRa is that it's really long range and low battery consumption. So we have a lot of devices here that last like up to five years on a single battery. It's really awesome. One of the most common questions that I've heard people get asked again and again was with all of this noise um, and promises around 5G, where does that leave LoRaWAN? And my answer has been, that um, as is demonstrated on the, on the booth, we are now at a stage where we have a lot of real life um, demonstrations of how the technology is now being delivered in the marketplace, that um, we are very complementary rather than um, opposing technology to everything else that the cellular carriers are working on and are bringing to market. If you look around on our booth this year, we put a big emphasis on showing real deployment, real case, uh, showing verticals where our technology, LoRaWAN, is making the difference. Yeah. LoRa is here, it's now, it is solving real world problems. We've chosen LoRaWAN as a technology that just works. Plug our device in, we're automatically going to bond and connect to a gateway send our messages and we know our messages get there. They get there on time and they get there reliable.